Hey guys. Yes, I'm still sunburned. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. So I wanted to let you guys know that later on in the week, today is Monday, um, later on in the week, on Friday, I'm actually going to go and register for phlebotomy classes. Um, it's a nine-week class, and then I will be able to get my national phlebotomy certification. So... What I wanted to do with this video is ask you guys if you would be interested in like watching my journey through becoming a phlebotomist, phlebotomy technician, whatever you want to call it. Um, and if you'd be interested in like watching the whole process of learning about phlebotomy and I can make more like, obviously I'm still working as a CNA, so um, I still work at the nursing home no, I didn't quit my job or anything like that. Um, and I will continue to work at the nursing home until I get like a good job that allows me to feel comfortable in no longer working at the nursing home. The whole reason why I am choosing to do phlebotomy instead of CNA work is because physically CNA work is very, very tough on me and my body. Um, I love interacting with the residents and their families and patients, but it's just really, really hard. CNA is very physical and um, I might drop down to like a PRN or some type of position like that where, you know, I can fill in every once in a while, but to do it on a full-time basis like I am now is really, really tough for me. So, um, I'm going to be doing the phlebotomy stuff. The class itself, like I said, is nine weeks long. It only meets one day a week, and it's going to be on Mondays from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. So, like I said, just Mondays, nine Mondays, and um, then I'll be able to do phlebotomy. Um... So the class costs $1,300 and I'm going to do it as a payment plan. So when I register, I have to put down $100, um, which is the deposit to hold my spot in the class until, um, and once class starts, that $100 will be put towards my actual like whole price of the class. And then there's three payments of $400 each. Um, I believe it's the first week of class, the third week of class, and then the fifth week of class. So, um, like I said, nine weeks. It's not going to be super long, but it is probably going to be intense because there's only nine classes and you have to do like your blood draws and vena punctures and all that stuff, um, within those nine classes. Um, but I'm just hoping to be able to further myself and, you know, working in phlebotomy, those jobs tend to pay higher, at least in my area, than CNA jobs do. Um, I'm, I'm getting paid $13.40 an hour um, right now in my current position at the nursing home, but um, a lot of, like, the phlebotomy jobs and stuff like that around here start at like $15, $16 an hour, which I feel like to lose the more physical work aspect of things and to gain more money, um, you know, is worth it to me. Um, because, you know, I've just noticed like my body is not going to last very much longer in this profession, I guess. Um, and I do still plan on going to nursing school, so don't don't give up on that. It's just a way for me to maybe get back to nursing school sooner and hopefully finish school sooner. Um, because if I have more money to work with, then that makes things a little bit easier when it comes to classes and paying for classes and things like that. Because like I said, I've already utilized the full amount of federal financial aid that I can so I would have to get like private student loans and all that stuff and it's it's hard to find those things um so yeah 
that's pretty much it. Like I said, Friday, today's Monday, so Friday I am going to be going to register for phlebotomy classes. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing the videos um, kind of walking you through like I did with my CNA certification class when I did that a couple years ago. Um, if you guys would be interested in seeing the same thing but for, for my phlebotomy class then I would definitely um, get videos filmed for you guys. Um, I am in the state of Indiana so I don't know if different states require different things. I haven't really looked into like the national certifications and stuff. I mean I have and then I haven't as far as like if it's different for like different states what the requirements are for classes and things like that as far as like how many blood draws or vena punctures you have to get before you're able to pass your class. Um, so yeah, that's just a little update. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you guys again in a couple days.